So you want to make a sword and blender. This is mainly for blade and sorcery, but this can really go for anything in general. But I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a sword and blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get rid of the basic cube and the camera and the light. You're going to start from scratch. But to make a sword, you're going to need a reference image. Uh, this is very important, especially for your first, you know, sword. So I would try to find a basic sword on Google. I found this sword on Google. And I really like it. it, you know, it has a nice shape to it. Um, I would recommend something a little more simple if you're going to do if this is your first thing in Blender. But for me, I'm going to be going for this one. Add a background image. You're going to find that picture. So I have my new pictures. If you click this button up here, it shows the images. So I'm going to go to my weapons folder. And I'm going to find that image. Here it is. Okay, so since this isn't a straight up image, I'm going to rotate it, click that by clicking R, and if you're on a an X or Y or whatever plane, you can just rotate it, you don't have to worry about anything. Try to make it line up. Okay, so once you got that, you're going to add a simple cylinder. You can make it smooth right now, or you can make it flat, it's up to you. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it flat. We're going to start off with the hilt. Alright, now I'm going to edit it by going, by clicking tab. And to select the bottom, you're going to want to Alt and left click it. Then I'm going to size it down by clicking S. Let me move it a little bit. Then you're going to click E to extend. Maybe size it down a little bit. If it doesn't line up perfectly, that's fine. As long as you get kind of what it needs to look like. You can move it if you want, but some of the images won't always line up with your model. I'm going to extend it the other way by clicking E. Okay, so you've got the basic handle shape. Now we're going to add the pommel. So I'm going to create another cylinder. Bring it down. Make it smaller. I'm going to go back into edit mode. Alt-click. Bring it up a little. And you're going to want to keep extending it and sizing it up by clicking E and then S, and just keep doing that and following the shape of the pommel. And then for this part, I'm gonna side, I'm gonna extend, keep it where it is, size it down, extend forward a little bit, extend again, size it up back to where it was, and then continue on. Okay, that's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to, for this first model, you can, you know, be a little lenient. Okay, next we're going to work on this part. Can't remember the name of it, but we're going to work on it. So for this beginning bit, I'm going to spawn in another cylinder. Here we go. Bring it down. Size it down. Bring it over here. Size it up. Go into edit mode, grab the top, bring it down, bring it up to right here, bring that up. Okay. Extend it forward a little bit, extend it, make it smaller, extend it forward, extend, bring it up, send forward. Okay. Like that, so you get the little divot in it. Okay, now I'm going to add a cube. She got a good Y coordinate. Alright, so what you're only gonna do is go into edit mode and select all the dots on the right. If you click this button up here, you can see through it, and you can use the select block to select them. Then you're gonna want to add a modifier, a mirror modifier, make sure you click this so it works in edit mode. You can do it on the Y axis. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna extend it, shrink it down to that size, and just make sure you follow the pattern and follow the shape of this thing. Apply the modifier now. I'm done with that bit. And now I'm going to select that side. If you click Control R, you can basically put a line through whatever you want. So for this one, I'm gonna put a line in the middle, click twice, there you go. We're gonna size it up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, si I'm gonna make it smaller by the X coordinate. So I'm going to click S, then X, and then I'm going to move it, make it a little smaller. So 
same for the pommel there, and this here. Then I'm going to add a torus object, bring that down, size that down. We're going to put it, this isn't in the model, but it's just some nice detailing. Put it in the middle, make it smooth, make it a little thinner, scale it to make sure it fits around. There we go. We're going to duplicate that by clicking Control D. We're going to bring it up, and we're going to make it fit around this thing too. And if you want this middle part to be filled, you can Alt left click on the top of it and click F to create a face. Now moving on to the blade. So there's a few ways you can do this. The way I like to do it is to spawn a cube. There we go. Bring it down, size it down it over here and we're gonna make the top of this cube match with the thick part of the blade and you're gonna select the top face and you're just gonna keep extending it now this blade is rotated a little weird so it won't line up perfectly but if you found a weapon that's straight, it should line up if you do everything right. Uh, and the way I like to create the ends of the blade is to go into edit mode, select one of these pieces here, duplicate it, and bring it to the middle. Just try to eyeball it, so about there. And what you're going to do, I'm going to click G to bring it along. Whee! You're all the way down here, and you're going to click E to extend it. And you're just going to do that all the way up the plate. Okay, we're about done. We're not going to line this up with the image anymore because it's not, it's, it's not lined up right. There we go. So, you could have added a modifier, a mirror modifier to it. Or you can just select it all. Shift D, Z, 180. There we go. And move it by the y-axis until it lines up and there you go you just cheated the system and create one more extend that to here click these two click F and there you go you have the basic shape of it now what you need to do is you need to connect it to the main part so the easiest way to do that I found is to click here click here click here Click here, click here, click here, click here, F, click here, click here, click here, F, click here, click here, click here, F. And just do that on one side a bunch until you've made it all the way to the top. Okay, now that you've done it to one side, you're going to want to do it to the other side. So here's the part where I recommend something, but I don't do it myself. If you want to, you can, you know, go through every single thing and do it all over on the other side. But I'm lazy, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mirror it. Here's a mirror. Here it is. And we're going to mirror it using that node by the x-axis. Um, it can be a little screwy if the model isn't, you know, consistent and it isn't, uh, you know, it's not the same on both sides. But if it is, you're, yeah, you're mostly good. Now I'm going to scale it down by the x-axis. And, uh, well, there you go. You got yourself a nice little sword. I'm going to add, you don't have to do this, you can just plop it right into Unity. Um, and there's no real point in putting shaders on in Blender because the shaders don't transfer over very well. But I'm going to, just for video's sake. And 
And uh, there you go. You have yourself a, a little sword. Uh, to do the texturing, you can either use the in Unity texturing, which is kind of doo doo, or you can use Substance Painter, which costs moolah. Um, so if you don't have any money to throw around at stuff like that, I would just use the in Unity stuff until you get comfortable enough and you feel fully committed to it. Then I would spend money on your Substance Painter. But to start off, I would just use the in Unity uh, texturing. Okay. Uh, that's really about it. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, set that to smooth.